Hey guys, this is Brian Upshaw. Uh, it's not the right picture. There we go. I've been trying to work out a little bit. I don't want to get too big or anything. Just trying to stay healthy, eat my fruits and vegetables. But I am currently student teaching at my alma mater, Sullivan South. And I guess since uh, teaching is such a high paying career, they want to make sure that you're doing it for the right reasons. So I'll be student teaching for a year without pay. Uh, in order to try to get through this year of student teaching, I'm going to be offering something to you guys that uh, I've always enjoyed doing myself uh, since I was about 15, and that's editing pictures. Uh, ever since you know digital cameras uh, came out, I've always enjoyed taking pictures, and especially the editing process. I always thought it was pretty neat to see, you know, how drastically you could transform just an ordinary uh, picture into something pretty cool. And so I use a lot of programs just like uh, Microsoft Picture It, um, used a Kodak editing program, used uh, iPhoto, and I had a lot of fun with those programs, but uh, once I got to college I actually minored in digital media and I took a class completely devoted to uh, digital photography and there we worked a lot with Adobe Lightroom which is a program I'm using now and the capabilities of this program is, is a whole lot better than any of those other programs I use and so I've really had a lot of fun with it. Um, I think I, I can really do some pre-professional work with it, uh, and so that's why I'm now offering it to uh, you guys. So there'll be a few different options uh, you could do uh, with pictures you had that you wanted, you know, professionally edited. Option A, kind of a premium package, would be you'd send me in one picture that you really liked. You know, maybe you're going to print it or put it in an e-card or do something cool with it. Um, so you wanted, you know, its look, its absolute best. So what I do is is a number of different effects with that one picture. I do a color adjustment. I do a black and white adjustment and then I do um, some kind of cool effect, some kind of probably black and white uh, color mix. Um, and then additionally each of those three photos I would do one copy with a vignette and one copy without a vignette. And a vignette is just kind of like that dark frame you can see around this picture. Um, but in uh, Lightroom you can adjust the uh, vignette unlike iPhoto to where you can, you can make it a lot more subtle if you want. Um, and I'll make another video that kind of explains all the capabilities of uh, Lightroom in case you're kind of wanting to see what's different about this program. I think you'll be pretty impressed with uh, its capabilities. Um, so here are just kind of examples of what I'm talking about. So here's an original picture of a flower. Uh, here's a color edit with a crop. There's a black and white color mix. Uh, and then the black and white edit. Um, another option would be if you just wanted me to choose uh, the best edit for each, each picture instead of doing you know six different edits for a picture it would just be one edit you just let me choose what I think is the best edit for the picture uh, for a majority of them I would just do uh, a color edit like uh, you know maybe crop it um, adjust the contrast maybe the vibrance um, maybe use recovery uh, to bring out some of the detail that was lost or use uh, kind of the advanced um, noise reducer to uh, make uh, the picture a little more smooth that might have been taken um, in a dark setting uh, stuff like that um, pretty simple uh, settings that I would change and then for a few of them I might do some kind of black and white or kind of neat creative uh, effect to it and then uh, for a few of them as well I would do um, a black and white color mix um, or, or where I would maybe use the brush to, to kind of localize some adjustments to really make a uh, a photo pop or look at its absolute best. Um, then the last option would be if you want to tell me exactly what you want done in the picture. So you're going to tell me, you know, I want this cropped, I want a vignette put on it, and I want a, I want it in a black and white edit. So that would be, you know, three dollars. So here are just options of what they would cost. Uh, the last one is um, adding text to a photo using Photoshop. Um, and you can either tell me exactly, you know, the font size and where you want it, or you can just kind of give me a rough idea of where you want the text and how big it is. Um, and then I can send it back to you using three different fonts and let you decide uh, which one you like the best. I did take a class completely devoted to uh, Photoshop, um, but text is the only thing I'm going to offer standard. If you wanted something else done, you can just email it to me, and I will let you know how much that costs. Uh, here's my email address, so you can just... Uh, send me the pictures to upshotedit at gmail.com um, I'll give for watching this video I will give you uh, the first picture completely free so send me at least one picture let me show you what I can do and if you can find some other pictures that would be cool as well I'll make some other videos to show you how I use Lightroom to edit photos and then another one to show you how to send me pictures uh, if they're too big to send in an email thanks guys